afternoon. Today we will discuss some of the predicates and quantifier. You are already familiar with the concepts of logical connectivities, logics, you are familiar with that. Now we will start with a discussion of the predicates and quantifier. Study was confined to a, a set of simple primitive propositions or compound statements only. We discussed various concepts such as logical connectivities, formation of compound proposition, tautologies, contradiction and contingency. Also, we discussed logical equivalence, statements, duality of the formula, etc. Further, rules of inference theory was introduced using the using which the problem based on logical arguments were examined. Now, we shall initiate a discussion on predicates and quantifiers. Before understanding this, considering the following statements. Dog is an animal, cat is an animal, elephant is an animal and tiger is an animal, lion is an animal, deer is an animal, horse is an animal and the list go on. Observe that all these statements are about individuals which are animals. So, to study this we require different symbols to denote these animals. But even the usage of different symbols does not show the common property of the symbols that each symbol denotes an animal. Suppose if we want to describe all the animals of the universe, then certainly a large number of symbols are necessary. To deal with a situation of this type, it is appropriate to develop a mechanism using which it must be possible represent all the common feature of the objects. The following section is devoted to the scene. First we introduce a symbol to denote the praise is an animal and secondly a technique to joint it with a symbol representing an animal. Then we are done as this single expression will speak about all the individual which are animals. Here the part is an animal is called a predicate. Usually a predicate is represented by using uppercase letters and lowercase letters are considered for the object associated with a predicate. Thus let us consider A is an animal then all objects which are animals may be expressed as here A of x. A is a, an animal but here x is a variable then we can write it as A of x where x is a variable to be chosen from the universe of discourse. Namely, the set of animals A of x to be read as x is a A or as object x as the property stated in the predicate A. Since only one variable is involved here. A of x is said to be one place predicate function or an open statement of a single variable. Similarly, second place, third place predicates and introduced. The study of predicate functions constitutes predicate calculus. Thus, it is clear that all the topics discussed under fundamentals of logic can be extended to predicate calculus. Therefore, one may be combine the open statements using the logical connectivities, one can extend the definitions like logical equivalence, tautology, etc. to these. Please remember that the set of all objects is called an universe, this is one important thing of discourse or just an universe. First we note some of the quantifiers. In a practical situation, we come across a number of quantified statements like, suppose in Educide this program, the live lectures through 
EJUSAT program is open for all engineering students in Karnataka. This is also quantified. A vehicle having Karnataka state permit is permitted to move on any road in the state. There are some bad boys in a classroom. Some students never follow this discrete mathematics course, whoever teaches this course. There is a, at least one student in some engineering watching this program coming live from VTU Studio Bangalore. Pythagoras theorem holds good for all right, all right angle triangles and the list go on. These are some of the examples related to the quantifiers. Statements shown in previous slides can be expressed symbolically using quantifiers. There are two types of quantifiers. One of them is that is universal quantifier. A statement which is a universally valid, we may be explained using an universal quantifier. This is similar to the situation namely for all, for every and for any. These words or this statement for all, for every and for any, symbolically it can be denoted by this one that is for all or for every. Next another one, this consider an open statement. Open statement can be denoted by P of X which is true for all sub situations from a universe of discourse, then the same may be written in symbolically form as for all x p of x. This means it is true in this situation. Next is exi existential quantifier. There are statements which are true only under circumstances. These statements may be symbolically expressed in terms of existential quantifier that is denoted by this symbol. Consider an open statement of the form q of x function. Suppose that this statement is true only for some values of x. This may be symbolically written as there exists this symbol for x q of x. Note an open statement of the form q of x gets a meaning only when x is replaced by a proper value from the universe or universe of discourse that can be denoted by the capital letter U. There are some examples related to this. Consider universe as the set of all days of a week. Then universe can be written as there are 7 days in a week that is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Consider the statement here P of x if x is a holiday. It is known that there is a day in a week which is declared as a general holiday. In our country we are using Sunday is a holiday that is Sunday. Thus this situation may be written as instead of for all here we can use there exist there x predicate that is p of x. Another example take the universe as the set of all flowers and consider the statement flowers are beautiful. Here we know that all the flowers are not beautiful but here this is a general statement universe. To write this statement in symbolic form we shall set up if f of x x is a flower then above may be written because flowers means all this is the meaning all it is not mentioned therefore for all x f of x this is the notation we can use. Some important remarks in the predicate statements the statement for all x p of x assumes the truth value false even if for one value of x p of x is false. This you must remember if any one of the 
because it is a general statement, but if it is false in any one of the function, therefore, we have the result negation of this for all x, p of x, if and only if this changes for all to there exist x negation of p of x. This symbol negation apply you can change for all to there exist. Similarly, the statement q of x will take the truth value false only when for all values of x the statement q of x is false. Hence, we obtain that negation of this function there exist x q of x if and only if for all x this changes symbol universal statements negation of q of x. Also, we can have the following we already done this in p and q only in p and q are the in logical statements that can be introduced in a different fashion that is there exist x p of x and q of x. This is same as there exist x p of x and there exist x q of x. Similarly, there exist x p of x and and r that is conjunction disjunction function can be rearranged in this way. Just remember these results may be useful in the discussion. Also, we have the following result to negate the following with one quantifier. Negation of for all x p of x if and only if for all become there exist x and negation of p of x. Negation of there exist x p of x that become for all x negation of p of x. Similarly, negation of for all x negation of p of x become here for all become there exist x negation of negation you get that is inverse similar to inverse to inverse you get a function. Similarly, here negation will be cancelled you get p of x. Similarly, negation of there exist x set of all that negation of p of x if and only if for all x negation negation will be cancelled you get p of x this become there exist become for all. Now, we go to some important examples related to the quantifier for the universe of integers. Let p of x, q of x, r of x, s of x and t of x be the following open statement. What is the statement here? Here p of x tells that x is greater than 0 and q of x is x is only an even number, even integers r of x is x is a perfect square and s of x is x is exactly divisible by 4. t of x means x is exactly divisible by 5. These are just open statements. Now, write the following statements in symbolic form. At least one integer is even. At least one integer is even means what is that? There exist x even means here we use x is even means we can write that as there exist x q of x. Similarly, there exist a positive integer that is even means here even means we are showing that x is even q of x means there exist means at least again we can show that there exist x p of x and q of x. And next, if x is even, then x is not divisible by 5, means here imply condition will be there. If this is one statement, this is another one, means we combined with this for all x, q of x, because it is even, tends to negation of t of x. Similarly, next another one is no even integer is divisible by 5. Here even for all x negation of even q of x tends to t of x. Next here there exist an even integer divisible by 5 means there exist x q of x is even 
implies T of x, T of x is divisible by 5. Similarly, in the last one, if x is even and x is perfect square, then x is divisible by 4. Means here, x is even, means you can use even means q of x and also divisible by perfect square is r of x and t of x is exactly divisible. All the combined by this, we can write it as for all x, q of x and, and r of x tends to s of x that is divisible by, by 4. These are some of the examples. Here, we can give translate each of these statements in logical expression using predicates, quantifiers and logical connectivities. Some students do not follow the rules. Some means you can use the symbol first, sorry, okay. Some students do not follow the rules and some students are very serious. No student can keep a secret. Next, there is, there is some in this class who is very intelligent. Here, some, some students will be there. First, you can make a statements. What are, first you can make a statements. What is P of X? What is Q of X? And rearrange. Then, we can write to in a logical connectivities. First, let us consider the universe as the set of all students of the college, as the first students, because it is not mentioned in the college, then you can take in the college. First, we shall set up the following primitive statements. First, what is that? P of x means x follows the rules. Q of x means x is very serious person. R of x means x can keep secret. Next, another statement, because there are four statements will be there. X is very intelligent. Now, we can write there exists X negation of P of X, because some students do not, means negation. Some means there exist, means that can be written as there exists X negation of P of X. Similarly, some will be there, there exists X Q of X. Because for all, here no students can keep secret. That is why we can make it into keep secret is an R of X. That is why here negation is implemented. That is for all X, negation of R of X. Similarly, sum, sum of X, S of X means what is that? Intelligent. Some are intelligent. That is why there exists X. Some x s of x. These are the writing the symbolical notation of a prediction, predicate. There is another example. For the universe of all integers, determine the truth or falsity of each of the following statements. If a statement is false, give an counter example. Here, p of x is given x square minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0 and q of x is given that x is odd and r of x is the given x is positive. These are the three statements here and what is the meaning of this? For all x, p of x tends to q of x means here p of x means here x square minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0. Now, we are checking the truth value of this means first you can make this equation solve this equation x square minus 8x means uh, we get 5 into 3 x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 2 will be there sorry 3 and 5 are the x values x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 5 but here given that for all x p of x tends to q of x means p of x having two values 3 and 5 tends to q of x. What is the q of x here? x is odd number. 3 and 5 both are odd number. Definitely this is true, this is true. Then you get the statement. The quadratic equation, I already mentioned this, x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 5. As the both the roots are odd, it is clear that A is true. 
Next in the second statement for all x, q of x tends to p of x. If x is an odd integer, then it is the solution of the quadratic equation. This is false statement for x equals 1 because only there are two values will be there in this equation. But if you take any other odd because x is an quadratic equation and x is odd means integers starting with 1, 3, 5, 7 etcetera. Therefore, if you take x is equal to 1 particularly, then that become odd integer, but it is not a root for this quadratic equation. Therefore, the statement is false. Similarly, next one there the sum x p of x tends to q of x means the English version of the statement that there is a solution x square minus 8 x plus 15 is equal to 0 which is odd. Here the roots are 3 and 5 both are odd therefore, this is true statement. Similarly, fourth also this is the fourth statement for all x q of x tends to means sum will be there definitely because both are odd therefore, this statement is also true. Next fifth one for all x means sum and for all we, we must be careful about this there exist or sum for all you can use here means here there is a function positive integer which is also a root of the quadratic equation x square minus 8 x plus 15 is equal to 0. This is true only because of x is equal to 3 is a positive integer and also it is a root. Therefore, fifth and sixth are also f and g this f and g both are true. For the following statement, there is another example we are giving now. For the following statements, the universe comprises all non-zero integers determine the truth values of each statement. Here, there is some x, some y, then if the product become x into y must be equal to 1. Some because some will be there, therefore, if you take both are negative then this is true x y equals 1 therefore, this is true. Similarly, in the second one for all x there exist y x y is equal to 1 this is not possible. Next there exists some x for all y x y is equal to 1 this is also false because any 1 is different we cannot get a non-zero integers because they are taking non-zero integers that root value may be changes. There exists because for all means any that is why it is not possible. There exist x sorry some x some y 2 x plus y is equal to 5 and x minus 3 y is equal to minus 8. If you solving this you get this function you get x and y values therefore, sum is possible both the statement D and E are true. Next, we give an another example related to negation. Write the negation of the each of the following statements. Consider the set of integers as universe. For all integers n, if n is not exactly divisible by 2. First here, we set a function. Set up here p of n for the function if n is divisible by 2 and, and not necessarily p and n you can give f and q any one predicates that is why. If n is there are two statement one is n is not n is not exactly divisible by 2 is there and n is odd q of n is n is odd function. The given statement may be symbolically written as this for all because the given that for all integers n that is why this symbol for all n and also what is that here n is if n is not exactly this implies this means implies q of n. 
Now, if we consider the negation of this, if you take a negation for all becomes some, there exists n, some n, negation of p of n tends to q of n. We know that for all x p of x, the negation comes to inside, the negation of p of n, this imply condition change to r, that is disjunction function. Because p implies q become negation of p or q. This one you already familiar in a logics. Then we can use that also. Again we use the De Morgan's law. Negation of negation become function itself that become cancel p of n and negation of q n because this is neg double negation law. Thus the negative statement if there exist here there exist an integer n such that it is not divisible by 2, but it is not an odd integer. Now, we can give some discussion on proofs of the theorem related to the this the rule of universal specification. If an open statement is always true for all replacements by the members in a given universe, then that open statement is true for each specified individual in that universe. Symbolically, we can written as for all x, p of x implies p of y, where this y must be in the universe u. For all x, p of x implies some x, p of x. That is, if a statement is universally true, then it must be true for any specified case also. That is, one must be remember. The rule of universal generalizations, if a open statement p of x is proved to be true, when x is replaced by an arbitrarily chosen element y from the universe, then the statement p of x is true for all values of x. That is, p of y implies for all x, p of x. These are the some important thing remembered in the quantifiers. Now, we will give some important results related to the discrete mathematics. Which of the following represents a tautology? Here, there are four functions will be there. You can observe that tautology and because here double statement will be there, it cannot be positive always. Then here p and q are the two function, then we first we can construct the table p q, p double implication to q, q double implication to q, then definitely here what happens here t t truth value of this double implication means both the true, then it is true. Then both the false also it is true. Similarly, this is also true true. Then if you take double implication, this double implication again, then all the function must be true. Means here the first one is a solution for this. Similarly, you can take another example. Consider the set S is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 with an operation multiplication modulo 9, which of the following is false with respect to the algebraic structure S yes, under multiplication 9. There are four options will be there. One of them is inverse and also first important thing, it is modulo 9. 0 is present means multiplication means if 0 is present, definitely it is not a group. Next, what is that? The inverse elements. Definitely the inverse will be there, but some of the things is not possible. S dot is not a group is not possible. Next, identity of S means definitely the multiplicative identity is always 1. Therefore, S dot is a not a monoid. It is a monoid, but it is not a group. This is the second one is a solution for this. 
there is another problem if x and y are the random variables and the expectation e of x is 30 e of e if p equals q a and q equals negation of a. Next there is a relations related problem if the relation r defined on a b c d is given as this one r is equal to a a a d b c c a c c and d d here del r reflexive symmetric and transitive denotes closure of r respectively determine the cardinality of the set. Here the intersection of all the three that is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Here first we can write reflexive relation for the above this one that is A A, A D, B D, B C, C A, C C and D D. Then symmetric A A, A C, A D because A C and here C A will be there, B C here C B is there. So, you get a symmetric and transitive A A, A D you get A comma D, B A here B A is there then B A C this one again you get a transitive relation. If you take intersection of all the three means all are containing A A, all are containing A D, are containing B C, then C A, then C C C C and D D that is intersection means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 means here first one is a solution for this coordinate. You have three coins first coin has two tiles, second coin has two heads and the third one has one head and one tile. You choose a coin at random and toss and get tails, what is the probability that coin chosen is two tiled coin? P is 2 by A, this is base theorem, you can use base theorem and you get the solution that is 2 by determine the number of positive integers less than 10 million having exactly one digit is 9 and having the sum of all the digits is equal to 14. Here we can use 9 can be placed in 7 position after that we have find out the number of ways to select sequences of 6 positive integers summing 14 minus 9 is 5 then you get a required solution is 1764. And also another probability problem, probability of 50 years old man to alive up to 60 is 0.83 and probability of 45 years woman is 0.87. You can use this and because you need both means multiplication of both of them you get a solution means that the first one is a solution for the problem. And similarly how many arbitrary elements are there in symmetric matrix of order 10 where all the elements of the matrix are positive integer means here 10 is the n into n plus 1 means that is 10 in by 2 that is 10 into 11 by 2 that is 55 this is the solution. This is also related to probability consider three points A, B, C randomly chosen on a line segment. What is the probability that a point A lies between points B and C? Here you can use the location points each because 3 into 3 therefore you get 6, 1 by 6 each. Then here S is equal to 1 by 2 power i, i is an inti non-negative integer what is the smallest group g under multiplication containing s. Here you get g is equal to s, g 1 is equal to s union n then you get this one. These are the important things you must remember and the coding and error correcting code has 5 code words. These are the codes the maximum number of 1 bit error which can be detected is here 0 this is the reason. Okay. These are some of the uh, multiple choice problems it is useful for your examination purposes. While rolling an unbiased dice 
determine the expectation of its face value. This is the expectation problem we already mentioned dice 1 by 6 2 by because there are 6 faces will be there the probability is 1 times 1 by 6 2 by 1 by 6 you get 7 by 2. Then which of the following is true? This is third one is a solution similarly you can check out uh, the pro, uh, 3 predictive then you get third one is a solution. How many symmetric relations are possible on the set S is equal to A, B, C, D? Then the symmetric possibility is 2 power here 4 elements will be there n into n plus 1 by 2 that is 2 power 10 that is 2 power 10 you get a solution for that. The the student appears in a test consisting of 20 statements to be marked either true or false. The student without having prior knowledge of the answer keys play if a trick by flip flipping a coin to determine the answer true or false to each statement determine the probability that the student writes the correct answer to at most two statements correctly is we can determine in this way you get 0 0.00 to the probability. Okay, thank you. y is 9, variance sigma x is 9, find the positive values of a and b such that y equals a x minus b and expectation of y is equal to 0 and variance of y is equal to 1. Here we can use the formula y is equal to a x plus b is a line then variance of y become a square v of x minus v of b because there two variances are given. You can substitute here v of y equals a square. Here v of x the first one is given 9 and v of b is 0 is given and another one expectation of y is 0, expectation of x is given that is 30, then e of b is equal to b. Then you get b is equal to 30 by 1. First you can simplify that a square into 9. Then v of y is 1 therefore a square a is equal to 1 by 3. a is equal to 1 by 3 means you can substitute it here you get 1 you get e of b that is 1 by 3 you get 10 is a solution means here 1 by 3 comma 10 is a solution for this problem. Next we go to relations here if a is equal to set of all a b c d and the relation R on A is given as R is equal to set of all A comma D, B comma A, B comma C, C comma A, C comma D and D comma C. Then the transitive closure of R. Then here you know that first we need a transitive closure means you can multiply the given set that is A cross A. If you make a multiplication of this and relation on R on A, this R is a relation in this which is missing you can see A cross A first minus the remaining A comma B is not present here that you can write and B comma B is not there then C comma D is not there therefore D comma B. This is the solution for the this problem. Let F a function a f of a comma b is equal to a bar that is a bar plus b the simplified expression for the function here f of f of x plus y comma z comma 1 will be there. First you can 
find the inner function for this means f of x plus y comma y can be written as the first bar plus y means x plus y bar plus y means this is x plus y bar addition become multiplication that is x y the whole bar plus y then this become x y bar plus y the transitive then you get x bar plus y this is the function again you can apply f of this y of y then that is f of x bar plus y comma z this we already known that is this one next this is x bar the whole bar plus y plus z this multi addition become multiplication then bar bar become cancel x y bar plus z then f of again you can apply the function with respect to 1 then this one we already known that is x y bar plus z then whole bar plus 1 that is x y bar 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 plus 1 means you get 1 itself means the f none of this is a solution for this. Next which of the following statements is false? The upper bound of the lattice d n is n you know that upper bound is n and lower bound is 1 for d n then this is 1. Next lower bound of the lattice p p of a contained is empty this is also true empty set is the the lattice lower bound definitely this empty set that another instead of reading this this is false but we can read the pro solution the lower bound of the lattice 1 2 4 8 16 etc means here 1 is present means the lower bound is 1 only the lower bound of the lattice is 1 therefore this is the wrong solution. Consider a group of 73 persons then which of the following is necessarily true? Group is 73 what is the statement you can read carefully at least 10 person were born in the same month. 73 is there in the same month it is may be not possible 10 will be there at least 2 months should have 8 person born in at least one man should have seven person born in because here totally 73 that in a year there are 12 months will be there therefore you can divide this 73 by 12 that is 6.08 and at most at most six persons were born in every month at most is there instead of this at most at least six person means this is a right solution but here at most is given therefore it is next number because you can apply to floor the here you get apply 6.08 means upper you can take the 7 is a solution means at least one month should have 7 person born this another problem three bikes bikers clubs rowers aces and riders have 60, 70, 90 members respectively rover 60, yes 70, riders 90 members. 20 of them are members of the three clubs means here 20 of them are member of means intersection whereas 60 of them have a membership of any one club means union of all the three R, A and R. How many bikers have a membership of exactly two clubs means intersection means here A, B, we taken here rovers, this is aces and riders. What are the given things? This is 60, this is 70, this is 90 is given and A plus B plus C all the three is 60 is given and intersection is 20 is given. Therefore, A plus B plus C plus 2 times here we taken because we need this only 2 of them these 3 we need x plus y plus z plus 60 means here a plus b plus c is 60 2 times x plus y plus z plus 60 is equal to 220 then 
x plus y plus z must be equal to 50. Next, uh, which of the following statement is uh, if or are true? P variance may be negative, Q variance of a constant is that the constant itself, lesser variance is more consistent and more uniform, expectation of a constant is 0. Here only R is true, means lesser variance is more consistent and more uniform because V is 0, E is constant itself therefore, variance is always positive. Next we go to recurrence relation example, the solution of the recurrence relation A n minus 5 times A n minus 1, where A naught equals 1, the simple variance you can put here replace n to next number A n plus 1 that is A n plus 1 equals 5 times A n, 5 times A n, then we can take it as A n is equal to t, t minus 5 A n plus 1, then t minus 5 is equal to 0 means t is equal to 5. Therefore, you can substitute A n equals c times 5, 1, 5 power n, n is equal to 0, therefore, A n must be equal to 5 power n. 5, 5, 5, etcetera, n times you are getting that become 5 power n, because already 1, 5 is there and rest is also 5, 5, 5 you get then 5 power n minus 1 into 5 then that is 5 power n, means here the first one is a solution for that. In how many ways 6 different books can be distributed? 10 person, so that each person get maximum one book. Here 6 books, 10 will be there, first one is 10, means one is less, then another one is 9, 8, 1 each time the one become less, then total is 10 person, that is probability is p, sorry permutation and you are arranging in 6 person, therefore 10 p 6, means fourth one is a solution for this. If order of A is equal to 4 and order of B is equal to 5, then the number of onto function and the number of function possible from A to B are respectively. What is onto function? Onto function means B power A, means here 5 to the power of 4. 5 to the power of 4 means one of them is basic that is 0, another one is 5 power 4 means 5 to the power of 4 means that is 625. Therefore, third one is a solution for this problem. Next, there is a predicate statement how to write, assume the following predicate and constant symbols. W of x comma y means x root y, L of x comma y means x is longer than y, N of x denotes x is a novel, a is Amit, h is Arshil, which of the following predicate logic represents the statement. Herschel wrote a novel, Herschel wrote a novel which is longer than any of the Amit novel, any of the Amit novel means what is that? There exist here there exist, that is the meaning any of the means there exist, here there exist x, n of x means novel will be there, n of x, x n of x and here x wrote means a shell here, w of h comma h comma x and any of the Amit novel means that is for all, there exist here for all y such that again here novel is written by Amit, Amit means here what is that A, W of A comma Y implies longer, longer means here L of X comma Y, means the fourth one is a solution for this predicate. Now, there is another problem, suppose we have 8 employees and three projects, how many ways can assign the employees to the project 
so that every employee is assigned to only one project and every project is assigned to the at least one employee. Here required number of ways is equal to number of on to function from employees to project. Here m is equal to 8 and n is equal to 3. The number of on to function that is r running from 1 to n minus 1 to the power of n minus r n c r r to the power of m means here 6561 this one minus 768 because 3 will be if you simplifying this 8 3 and 2 you get 5796 this is the formula for finding number of on to function. A die is rolled 180 times find the probability that the phase 4 will turn up at least 35 times this is assume normality given that the area under the normal curve z is equal to 0 to 1 is 0 0.3413 then you can apply here the formula p is greater than 35 n is 180 p is 1 by 6 q is equal to 5 by 6 then expectation is 30 variance is equal to 5 then you get this result. If p and q are two propositional expressions then which of the following is true? If p and q both are satisfiable then p and q is satisfiable. p and q is not satisfiable then both p and q are not satisfiable. p and q both are valid then p and q is valid. If p and q both are not valid then p r q not valid. Here this is in the first one if a is false let p is equal to a and q is equal to negation a this is not satisfiable. Then b is false then negation negation of p and not satisfied but either p or q is satisfiable. Third one is true then therefore p and q is not valid then at least one of them p this is contradicts our assumption therefore is false since p and q 